From Fox 35 Mission Control, Starliner will stay at the ISS into August. That's the latest update of today from NASA and Boeing. Yeah, they are determined to get the two astronauts back to Earth on the Starliner. They just don't know when that's going to happen. As Fox 35's Esther Bauer found out, there is a backup plan just in case. We don't have a major announcement today relative to uh, to a return date. A week-long mission now hitting day 50. Starliner has been docked at the International Space Station since June 6th, unable to come back to Earth because of thruster failures and helium leaks. Since then, crews on Earth have been trying to understand what went wrong and what they need to do to get astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams home safely. Mark and I have been working for the last uh, number of weeks is to return Butch and Sonny on Starliner. Boeing announced today they do have some backup options. Now obviously the backup option is to use the, a different system. But plan A still is and will be the Starliner. Our prime option right is to complete the mission. Starliner was designed as a spacecraft to have the crew uh, in the cockpit. However, if all else fails. The beauty of having Dragon and Starliner and two different diverse space transportation systems is we can we can kind of use those as backups someday. NASA and Boeing aren't ready to discuss those backup options yet. The focus right now, a hot fire test this weekend to get a look at the thrust stars and analyze the helium leaks. NASA has to review everything before scheduling a return date for Starliner. That review can't happen until the first week of August. And that review is successful and everybody polls go to proceed. I mean, it's it's a little bit of time after that. Then NASA and Boeing can work on a return date for Starliner. Reporting on the Space Coast, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.